Well, move them out. That's what a federal judge is telling Louisiana officials to do with the youth. They're being held in a temporary lockup at Angola Prison, and the judge is giving the state one week to do this. Fox 44's Whitney Thomas joining us live in studio with more details. Whitney. Christina, this has been a long time coming, and what's interesting is the Office of Juvenile Justice says this was only a temporary lockup facility until a permanent one is ready later this year. We stand ready to work with the state to close this facility, this horrible experiment. Chief U.S. District Judge Shelley Dick ordered the state to remove minors being held at Louisiana State Penitentiary by Friday, September 15th. Lawyers say the evidence collected by the ACLU showed the facility housing the youth inmates was never used as a rehabilitation center and that the unfair treatment goes against the juvenile's constitutional rights. Louisiana should be ashamed of how these kids are treated. This was all done in our name with our tax dollars. The Office of Juveniles Justice released a statement saying they don't agree with the court's ruling and will be seeking an emergency writ. The ruling, while it addressed safety and security, it ignored it as the primary concern. That is the OJJ's first and foremost concern. It's the security of the youth, the security of the staff, and the security of the public. In its statement, OJJ says the plan was always to close the temporary facility at Angola and move the high-risk youth to the new Swanson Secure Care Facility later this year. In studio, Whitney Thomas, Fox 44 News. All right, thank you so much, Whitney.